Welcome back guys to my Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix 100% Guide Walkthrough on the PlayStation 4. Now we just left Twilight Town, we got all the treasure chests, we're good on that, we're missing two puzzle pieces, and we will get those as soon as we obtain Glide. But now we are heading to the world that never was to fight Roxas. Now, before we start on this venture, there's uh, an important thing that I'd like to point out to you guys that right now at this given time uh, in the game, this is the best place to level up your Valor form, your Wizard, your Wisdom form, your your Limit form, and your Summon form. So, what I mean by that, and I'm going to show you guys an easy way of doing things, is go ahead and head out right here. And let's start out with our summons. So what you want to do is summon Peter Pan and then watch his little cinematic. After you do the cinematic, you don't have to worry about it anymore. But it's easier done in the very beginning. So walk out here, initiate battle, select Neverland, and then stop. And then just disappear into the back. And you'll notice that your drive gauge is maxed as soon as you do that. So if you check your status, you can also check the experience gain on it. So next level is an 11. So all you do is just head back out again, summon Peter Pan, initiate the battle to start Neverland, then stop it, and then head into the alley in between. And you'll notice on our status again, we now have 6 instead of 11. So Peter Pan is the fastest way to gain the levels because it drains 5 every single time. So you get 5 experience for using that. Even though you don't even do anything but just cast it and then stop and then walk back, your drive gauge is full. Also, uh, your other forms, there's a bunch of Heartless that spawn, so you can dive into your Wisdom form and pretty much just sit here and farm these guys with Byraga, and they die almost instantly. And you can pretty much just sit here and farm these guys over and over again. And then once you kill the first group, another 9 will spawn or so, and then you can just take these guys out, use an Aether when needed. So this is the best spot possible in the game to farm for your wisdom form. It just makes it so simple. And then once that first group runs out or your form gauge is depleting, just head back into the alley in between and boom, drive gauge maxed to 5. And you can do that for all forms except for your master form because these heartless don't drop drive balls. So there's another place I will show you guys uh, later in the game and I'll make a separate video on how to pretty much enhance your drives the best way you can. So at this time we're going to get ready for the fight with Roxas. So what you're going to make sure that you have, and it's a must, is you're going to make sure that you have second chance and once more on. This is if you're not very high level and you're afraid of taking a lot of damage from him or whatnot, you're just going to go ahead and put those on. So as we get into it here, you're going to make your way around the first corner here and there will be a chest on your left in this back corner. And then directly adjacent to that in the opposite corner is the next chest. Also you're going to want to make sure that you have your your best stuff on for this fight. So decisive pumpkin, uh, make sure you have good weapons on your master form or valor if you choose to use those. Uh, make sure you have some strength accessories here and a bunch of ethers. Or if you're afraid of getting hurt, then make sure you have some potions. Elixirs work well as too. Roxas is a pretty difficult fight, but uh, as long as you get the timing down on your Reflect Gum, he should be absolutely no problem at all. So here we are at Roxas, and the first thing you want to do is one step forward and cast Reflecta, which will pretty much take a whole entire bar away from his health, and then give him a couple combos, and then he'll go to the middle and cast this little spell that he does, and during this time you're going to want to target him and just dodge roll in the corner. He'll go back to the middle periodically, but yeah, he'll do it quite often. So, the only way you, you just dodge roll out of the way of these things. You gotta kinda control the camera. And then he'll float over to you again. So just use Reflecta. So 
So if you do that action command right there, you will take his keyblade from him, and then you can just lay the smack down on him and just smoke him. And that's pretty cool. So after that, you'll get your bonus and watch the best cutscene in the game, in my opinion. So as we start out here at the skyscraper area, you're going to want to make your first right a sharp right, and then in the back next to this crash semi here, there's one chest, and then hop up on the staircase here for a puzzle piece. And then make your way across the staircase here to our next chest, and then our last chest in this area is right here. And then make your way to the world that never was. So that concludes this video, guys. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment and like this video and join me for the next video where we take down most of the Organization 13 in this spaceship, the Altar of Knot, and the world that never was up there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.